Hi, it's Ryan from CryptoVice. Today's video is going to take a look at some of uh, Ethereum's main competitors and how many times people are searching for each of these on the internet. So I want to remind you guys, this is not meant to be investment advice. This is really just one very small piece of information that, uh, that I like to use when I'm trying to figure out, am I going to buy something? Am I going to hold it? Is this kind of a long or short play? Um, but one of the first things I like to look at uh, it's really just how many times are people searching for different keywords on the internet. So the tool that you're looking at is called the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. If you've watched any of our other videos, I uh, give a little bit more in-depth in -depth explanation on how this works, how to get access to it. But basically, it's for the people that, that advertise on Google. So if you want to show up on Google in a paid ad, you use Google AdWords, which is known as Google Pay Per Click, to do that. And this is the tool that they provide so that you can estimate how many people across the world, across a certain country, across a certain city, zip code, whatever, how many people are searching for the particular keyword phrase that you're looking for. So first thing you want to do, you'll notice here I started typing in a few. I've actually already done it. But like I said, we're going to look at Ethereum and some of Ethereum's competitors. So the companies that I want to look at are Ethereum, Waves, uh, Ethereum Classic, Stratus and EOS. So the first thing I did, if you notice me scrolling down here, is I just tried to type in some different variations of each of those. So I typed in their ticker symbol, their name, a couple variations of crypto, cryptocurrency, etc. I also want to look across all locations in English search. We could change this to be uh, any number of languages. We could also change this to, instead of looking at the whole world, to say, let's look at the United States or Canada, or any combination of countries, cities, et cetera, et cetera. So for right now, we're just going to leave it as all locations because cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is, is truly a worldwide phenom phenomenon. Phenomenon? Phenomenon. So I think it makes sense, or at least it's fair to look at, look at everywhere. The other thing we'll look at is also Google search partners. So a lot of times Google as a search engine will power other websites like AOL. If you do a search on AOL, I don't know who still uses AOL, sorry, AOL, but uh, yeah, it's powered by Google. So it'll say this search is powered by Google. So that search volume is relevant as well. Negative keywords, if there was a reason that you wanted to omit um, a certain keyword, uh, like a good example of this will be waves in this presentation. You know, the keyword waves is obviously extremely broad. The vast majority of people that are searching for waves on Google at this point um, are not looking for, for Waves cryptocurrency. I think they're looking for screensavers and, and backgrounds. So uh, I'm gonna get, I, don't, I don't think it's too relevant for this discussion anyways. So as you hit go, you'll notice that a couple different boxes popped up. The first box here will give you an estimate for all the keywords that we typed in. Uh, how, how many searches total across each month for the last 12 months? Pretty clear uh, search volume has been increasing on the whole over the last 12 months. Only expect this to, uh, to continue with probably some very small um, valleys along the way. As you scroll down, you'll notice the second box. These are the actual keyword variations that I typed into the keyword planner. So you'll notice it's currently sorted. You can click on any of these to sort them high to low. But you'll notice Ethereum has 1.2 million searches a month. EOS came in number two at 823,000 searches, Ether 246, ETH uh, 110, Stratus 27, and you can read the rest there. So one thing that I, I would like to, to point out, so a keyword like EOS, um, just like Waves, I didn't include Waves here by itself. I put Waves Crypto, Waves Cryptocurrency, Waves Token, because Waves in itself, and let me just show you why I didn't do that. The search volume is going to be huge, but I don't really think it's relevant, right? Like I said, not, not everybody that types in waves into Google is looking for, oops, and I typed in wave by mistake. We'll just leave it be. It's not, like I said, it's not applicable. Um, so with that said, what I like to look at, obviously Ethereum is, is going to have the vast majority of searches. I really like to come down and I really like to start to add together um, some of the different variations. So if we look at EOS, for example, or Waves, right? We'll take a look at EOS. I would take a look at that 823,000 searches. How does it change over the month? Uh, it's coming down over the over the course of the last 12, which makes me think that a large portion of those are not necessarily 
EOS crypto. I think something similar to what's happening with the wave search, although I'm not exactly sure what um, what EOS is. So let's just take a look. You type in EOS to Google. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, so I get some local results. Yeah, it does look like one of the best search results on there is a crypto page. So um, who knows? Maybe a large volume of Mar. I'm surprised that it's coming down like that uh, over the course of 12 months. But um, sometimes search volume will surprise you. The third box that I'm going to show you as we scroll down, these will be the different suggestions that Google makes to us based on what we typed in above. So I didn't type in Ethereum price, but if I was doing an analysis to say, you know, what are what are people really looking for? How many total searches are actually being done uh, on Google, right? What's the worldwide interest of Ethereum? A keyword search like Ethereum price is absolutely um, relevant to me. I want to know that. Uh, Ethereum mining, that's another good keyword I'd take a look at. Um, 135,000 searches a month. Let's see what else. Ethereum wallet, that's a great one. Um, Again, so some of these EOS flavors, not applicable. EOS lip, I'm assuming these EOS is a, a, probably a very uh, famous cosmetic line that I'm just not familiar with. I'll, if it is, let me know in the comment section below. But I think you guys understand the, the purpose of this, right? So we look at search volume uh, as a whole, not for a particular keyword, but there's obviously thousands and thousands and thousands of different variations of keywords that people can type in. So we like to look at that as a cumulative number. And then I also like to look over here at the suggested bid, right? So I, I think this tells a big story. You know, why is somebody willing to pay $11.30 on average uh, for, the, for an ad to be shown on the first page of Google when for another keyword, you know, they're only willing to pay 42 cents or 35 cents uh, or 285, et cetera, et cetera. What well, obviously has to do with, with how well this keyword converts into, into a customer. So um, pay-per-click, I won't go into it too much, but it really is kind of just like an auction setting, right? It's supply and demand. The more advertisers, the more people that are willing to pay money to Google to show for a particular keyword search, they're going to drive up the, the price, right? They're willing to pay more. Um, when a consumer pays more for a product or they're willing to you know, buy more of a product, typically a business will pay more to attract that customer. That also makes the price go up. So Again, this is just a, a little bit of, of information that you guys can gather. It's freely available. Um, you can go to Google, type in the Google Keyword Planner. It'll come right up for you. Um, and it's just another tool that you can use to gain more information to make better educated decisions. Again, no advice. I don't think I gave you any advice here, but uh, make your own decisions. Google search volume is definitely a piece uh, to look at. If you guys have any questions about uh, Ethereum, some of the main competitors out there, how well they show up, uh, reach out to us at CryptoVice and we'd be happy to answer any questions you have.